management and all the kind of stuff has become really a big topic these days. And I know how guys, these guys work, and I know how they get it so wrong. So I'm here today sharing a little bit with you about some of the things we've been doing recently. The starting point is that our government has forgotten that their job is to represent us. Yeah, yeah. Their job is not to introduce an agenda that they want to introduce. They have one duty and it's to us. We are not their slaves. We have our own values, our own freedoms and our own choices. We're being told that there's only one source of truth. There is never only one source of truth. It is up to us to stand up for what we believe in and be heard. And we need our government to listen to us. And it's people like you making the effort to turn up today that is sending a massive message to our government. And on you and I hope that listen. I did a presentation to the Select Committee a couple of days ago on the COVID health response amendment number two. And what a disrespectful group they were. Their job is to listen to our submissions. They gave us two days to prepare. Incredibly <coughs> short process. All of a sudden you couldn't file by email anymore. You had to fill in their silly form that kept broken down. Clearly they didn't want too many submissions. But despite that, so many people made the effort and put in their submissions to have their voice. And we have to keep having our voice. And we have to keep making our voice louder and louder and louder until they start to listen to us.
they're doing it with our bodies, they're doing it with our freedom of expression, they're trying to take away our water and privatise that, yeah. they're taking away everything they think they can get their hands on and leaving us with nothing. Yes. And it's not okay. Does anyone think it's okay? No! no! Thank <laughs> you. 